Hi everyone. The last time I made a video, it was about my fast, my water fast for 40 days. I completed that. It started and ended on December 1st, 2018 to January 9th, 2019. So today is August 3rd. It's around 1 a.m. And um, I decided to pick up the camera on my iPhone and tell you guys that, you know, I'm, I feel like I need to challenge myself yet again, something uh, spiritual for me. What I'm talking about is uh, being celibate and seeing how that works out in relationship, in life, in uh, career, and all around. And what inspired me to do this was this book I have right here called The Weights, and it's by Devon Franklin and Megan Good. They're a married couple. Everyone, you know, who knows, I guess, knows that Megan Good is an actress. Uh, a lot of people probably didn't know that she was married. I'm not, I don't know if a lot of people know that, but she is married and she's been married since, um, I think 2012. And her husband is a pastor. His name is Devon Franklin. And they, they wrote the book, The Wait Together, actually. And they talk about waiting until marriage to have sex. They talk about their journey and how it worked for them. The reason why I wanted to read the book, I'm not in a relationship and I'm not thinking about marriage. I'm not even sure if marriage is, is for me because I was recently talking to someone that I, I was I used to date from college. So we reconnected um, around like four months ago. And while we talked for a little while, I brought to their attention, that's what I want to try being celibate in any new relationship that I'm going into. At first, they wasn't sure because they have never tried to be celibate in self and it was new to them. And I felt like I wasn't doing a good enough job explaining to them the benefits that it could have in relationships. So I started doing research and I came across an interview with Devon Franklin and Megan Good and they was talking about the, the book, The Weight. So I decided to, you know, order the book and see if it gives me any insight or more reason to try it. So I ordered two books, one for me and one for the person I was talking to at the time. We both read the book, both loved the book, and we decided that we was going to do this together, become celibate. Now, I said I was recently talking to because like about two weeks ago, I had um, stopped talking to them because I saw patterns that they was toxic. Now that's away from the book. The book doesn't talk about anyone being toxic. I'm bringing it up because I'm an empath. And for those other people who's an empath or people who knows about people that are empaths know that um, sometimes we attract toxic people. You can look that up, the reasons why, and part of the reasons why is because we think everyone is like us basically. And you know, unfortunately, not everyone is is good or not everyone has good intentions so i let that relationship go because i didn't want to continue i can't be in a toxic relationship i can't be around toxic people i just don't tolerate it the book doesn't talk about uh toxic people but it does talk about um waiting for sex is good because it weeds people out your mind's not clouded from sex your judgment is more clearer so you're able to weed them out before anything gets too serious. And that's exactly what happened here. Now, on top of the fact that we was decided to wait, we're also long distance. I live in Arizona and the person that I was talking to lives in New York City. So we had distance and we had to wait. It was a lot of talking on the phone. And by talking on the phone, I was able to determine faster that that wasn't the relationship that I wanted to be in. Devon Franklin is a pastor. He doesn't come at you as like, he's preaching to you. A lot of Bible verses or quotes that was mentioned kind of threw me off a bit because I'm not a religious person. Chance the Rapper just came out with a new album called The Big Day. And I listened to the whole entire album, I loved it. And um, he mentions a lot himself. He talks about God and how it helped him with his wife. And surprisingly, in a song, We Go High, which I love that song also, he talks about how his wife, you know, took sex away. With that song, I felt the connection. Like, that's when I start listening to the album, not just, just to listen to it, because I love uh, Chance as an amazing artist, but listening to it in a way that 
it relates to me wanting to be celibate. So sometimes I think that the universe guides you in the direction. Reading the book gave me a lot of insight, but I was not thinking about reading the Bible. And this Bible is the one I chose. I don't know if you could see it, called The Message, and Eugene Patterson wrote it. It's written in contemporary language, so that means that anyone can read it. It's written in layman's terms, so you don't have to be an expert to read it because it's an easier read. It'll keep me more interested in reading it. It's a long book. I'm not giving myself any time limit because I don't want to rush the Bible. I don't want to rush, you know, a message like that. Then I don't have a time limit to when I'm going to finish the Bible. And I don't have a date set to when I'm going to end me being celibate. So I decided to pit that, the two and two together, being celibate and reading the message. I'm not sure where this journey is going to take me, just like the last video I did, the 40 day water fast. I didn't know how long I was going to go with it and I wound up going 40 days. So when I finish reading the Bible, it doesn't mean that I have to stop being celibate at all. Also, I owe y'all so many other videos. I, I need to do a lock update. I haven't done a lock, uh, you know, a dreadlock update in a long time. I haven't gave y'all an update on my 40 day fast or anything. So I know it's like I took a long break and stuff like that, but you know, life happens. I just moved into a condo recently so i'm happy about that yeah and life just been going but i will keep you guys updated on how i'm doing with that and how everything goes and um i want to just say thank you and well i decided that every time i read a chapter like genesis exodus and um every time i read a, a part of the bible i'm gonna do it like a recap or a little summer a summary so it won't be like I'm, I'm saying everything, the whole Bible at once when I talk about it. Now, since I just finished reading Genesis, I would say that um, first, first off, I would like to say there's so much incest 